Hi, I'm Joe Levy, and this is Blender Burner. This week, Britney Spears, Back from the Dead, Metallica, Deader Than Ever, and Bob Dylan, Giving It Away for Free. What a difference a year makes. Britney Spears at the VMAs, coherent, dressed, winning things. It's a complete reversal. Britney Spears swept at the VMAs last week. Three for three, best female video, best pop video, video of the year. All this for Piece of Me, probably the worst video Britney Spears has ever made. Wait, I'm wrong. The one with the guy on the beach? That was pretty bad. Britney gave an almost identical exception speech every time she came to the stage. It's official, she's a fembot. Hello, welcome, I'm Britney Spears. Britney Spears, back on her game, cutting a record, possibly out by the end of this year. Will it include a Justin Timberlake duet? We can only hope and pray. Mm -hmm. Just released Metallica's first new album in five years, Death Magnetic. Metallica ditched their old producer Bob Rock to make this record with Rick Rubin, the bearded guru who tells everyone to write better songs. And, amazingly enough, that advice seems to have worked. Now Metallica may be angry again in their music, but the therapy seemed to work and they're less angry in the rest of their lives. When the album leaked a few weeks ago, Lars Ulrich, the man everyone on the internet blames for the death of Napster, shrugged his shoulders and said, that's what happens these days. We expected it. Let's just go on. Lars, what happened to let's find every downloader and kill them all? Metallica aren't the only ones who've gone soft on downloaders. Bob Dylan is literally giving it away this week. A free song has been released from the eighth volume of the bootleg series, Telltale Signs. The song is called Dreamin' of You. Interestingly enough, written for the soundtrack of a movie that never got made. And not only is Dylan giving away the song, there's a video out starring Harry Dean Stanton as a mysterious man in the desert who drives to a garage full of Bob Dylan bootlegs and sits staring at them. It's weird. The softest touch. This isn't the first time Bob Dylan and Harry Dean Stanton have worked together. That would be 1973's Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid a Western directed by Sam Peckinpah. Cue up the trailer on YouTube and wait for the moment when the announcer introduces In his first dramatic motion picture performance, <clears throat> recording star Bob Dylan. Telltale Signs covers music from Dylan's last 20 years. It's made up of outtakes from the studio and live cuts. It won't be out till October, but I'm telling you, check out the free download and it's worth the wait for the rest. That's it for this time. I'm Joe Levy. You've been feeling the heat of Blender Burner. Big, 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 big.